Good morning. Welcome back. A study by the U.N. says most coral reefs could be gone in 30 years. Florida's barrier reef is among those threatened, and the race is on to turn the tide. CBS 4's Manuel Bajorquez reports. South Florida's beaches are iconic. But what's below the water is spectacular. A maze of coral that stretches 300 nautical miles and is home to hundreds of marine plants and animals. That reef is disappearing, says University of Miami marine biologist Stephanie Schottmeyer. Over the past 30 to 40 years, we've seen drastic declines in coral cover, and it's mostly been due to climate change. Changes in the water chemistry, overfishing, pollution. In 10 years, parts of the reef lost nearly half the coral. Schottmeyer is with Rescue a Reef, a group which enlists the help of volunteers called citizen scientists. How important is that to what you do? It's very important. Any time a citizen scientist comes out with us, we're able to put more corals on the reef than we would normally be able to. It's like underwater gardening. They harvest newly grown coral from one part near Key Biscayne to transplant to another, securing them to the ocean floor. Planting them is a delicate, time-consuming process. Here we're doing a stress test. Biologist Ross Cunning is carefully monitoring the coral's survival rate. We're trying to identify which corals are able to withstand warming temperatures. Billions of dollars are at stake, from fishing to tourism. The reef also helps protect against beach erosion and another major threat, hurricanes. They can reduce the magnitude of the storm surge and the flooding that might occur. So they act as a first line of defense against uh, storm surge. Rescue a Reef has already replanted 2,000 corals. All right, how'd it go? Great. This was Natalie Myrtle's first dive. Without coral, the little creatures in the ocean can't live, and without ocean, well, there's no life. So these divers vowed to keep doing that one coral at a time. Manuel Pajorquez, CBS News, Miami.